What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Flicking on My Big Tarot, here where I bring you the beauty, juice, and spiritual truth. I am your spirit guide host, Miss DC, and today, you guys, we are back with another general read and for Aquarius. Please understand this will not apply to every single Aquarius, as every single Aquarius is not going through the same scenario. Cross watchers, anybody outside the Aquarius energy, you're more than welcome to join and tune in, but please utilize this information for its most positive purpose. Spirit told me to talk to you, so I will be using three of my tarot decks. For more information, everything will be in the description box below. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to this video. And if this is so, drop a tip in my cash app, leave a comment, and let me know. Without further ado, Aquarius. And you guys, I'm super, super, super excited. I'm going to be using my new metaphysical um, cannabis oracle card deck. The cards are so beautiful. And I'm going to be using those in this reading for you too. Okay. All right. So we got hot honors. Maybe you're viewed this way or you're viewing somebody this way in high honor, I feel like somebody might be receiving some form of recognition. I don't know. Somebody is viewed in high honors or somebody views you this way. I feel like, I feel like you're very, you're very strong. You're very determined, or this could be whoever you're dealing with. Yeah, I feel like when it comes to work, you're held in high regard. I believe this myself because I feel that way when I'm at work. A lot of people respect me. A lot of people appreciate me. And I sincerely appreciate that. Um, I feel like when you're at work, you just, you just, you just, I feel like whatever you do, you use your hands. And I know I use my hands when I'm at work. I'm a phlebotomist. And like, if you look at this girl, see, she's using her hands with something that could have like needles attached to them in some way, form or fashion, or um, she just has to use her hands and whatever it is that she's doing. And it looks like she's at work, toil and labor. So some form of work. So you may be held in a really, really high status when you're at work. is what I'm getting. I feel like to some degree you don't, I feel like you do your job so well, you're bored. Like you're so good at your job that you're bored. Yeah, this is definitely me, I know. Gratitude. Okay, so you could be dealing with a Capricorn. If not, because I did Capricorn and they got this beautiful card. Okay, so this is gratitude. Um, maybe you need to so show some form of gratitude to someone at your job, or if this isn't showing gratitude, well, yes, never mind. It's like being appreciative. Um, being appreciative for being hot for, okay. Being appreciative for being held in high honor. So be appreciative that people appreciate you. Okay. And in this deck, this is more or less like the world card. So this is new beginnings, um, a transformation, something just like starting over, you know, with the world here. So you may be starting over in a new way, but also I love, love, love this card. I love this card. It says solitude. So this is the hermit card in a regular tarot deck. And I absolutely love this card. And I feel like this card expresses me right now to a T. I've been in hermit mode for a few weeks, probably not even a few weeks, a few months. I've been in hermit mode. <laughs> I've been, <laughs> I've been in hermit mode, y'all. 
not really wanting to show my face, covering up my hair. Everything around me is dark, but a light, like literally my apartment is completely dark. I mean, besides the fact that you all might not be able to see it too well, but you see the light outside. It's really not as light as it looks because it's raining. So it's very dim outside. The only light I have on in my apartment is my um, kitchen light. And the reason for that is because I wanted you all to be able to see the cards clear. So you all might be starting over, starting a new starting a new life or starting a new process or you're starting something new, but I feel like you're doing it alone. See how she's working with people, but she's alone. She's not talking to anybody. She's just, and I feel like Aquarius, that's where we might be. You know, I'm not sure how long, but I feel like you might just be starting over a new phase in your life. And like I said, with the world, the world is just like phases in your life, starting new phases, new phases. But I feel like to some degree, you might just feel alone or you might start this process alone or like whatever it is, you might be starting a new job and this new job might be a work from home or somewhere where you're just like working by yourself. And I feel like you'll like it better that way. Or just kind of doing things on your own terms. I know me, I don't like taking, um, I don't like, I don't, I don't really do well with taking authority. Like I'm I'm my own person. I don't like, I don't like that. Hold on one second, y'all. Sorry about that, y'all. So let's see. And you know, Aquarius, something about us. Um Whatever we put our mind into, whatever it is that we do, whether it be for work, whether it be for fun, we are usually very, very good at it. Naturally, we're just good at shit. So look at this, um, Ten of Cups. So there might be, you might be connected to a family I feel like if this isn't work, there's a family situation here that you might be perfect for. I see two people with two kids, possibly. You and someone else and two kids. Um, maybe you're moving away from the city or moving away from everybody. Even with this hermit mode, I feel like, yeah, you might be moving away. You could be getting involved with um, a family or connecting to somebody who has their own family and then you're entering into the family, but then you all just kind of go your own way, I feel like. With the Ten of Cups, this is like, this is love, this is family, this is that white picket fence, you know, the kids are happy, money is good, everybody's fulfilled, you know what I'm saying? And with this high honor here, I feel like you would possibly be perfect for this. And again, it doesn't have to be like a romantic situation, it could be work, it could be a situation where, you know, you're just perfect for this job, or, you know, you're, you're perfect for this situation whatever it might be. You're going to be held in high regard and because you're perfect for whatever this is. Aquarius, I feel like some of you all might be putting on a face, kind of like a, um, I really don't want to talk. I don't want to. So you have a straight face right now. I feel like a lot of you all are really serious right now. I don't know why I'm picking that up, but it's like, I feel like it's like, I don't know really how to explain it. It's like when you want something, you see something beautiful and you want it, but you can't smile at it because I guess you don't have it. So you just look at it with a straight face and you're just thinking, thinking, thinking. You might even be very emotional right now. I know I am a little bit. Yeah, work is driving you crazy though. I feel like you want a family situation, but okay. So I'm going to try not to relate this 100% to me because I can very much relate to this situation from how I'm reading it. 
but it's kind of like I feel like to some degree you want a family as Aquarius we a true Aquarius generally has issues with relationships they usually either don't work or the person that we want usually we can't have the way we want them you know a lot of time people get Aquarius confused whether it's guy or girl but I'm gonna put emphasis to the women in this case a lot of people look at us and say oh well uh, you might be used to dealing with somebody that has money or dealing with somebody who has a high status. And and we do. And we do. We generally do naturally tend to attract those type of people. But what I like to tell people all the time is that when we attract those type of people, it's not, oh, we attract those type of people and we just get the rewards and the benefits from it. No, dealing with those type of people usually comes with something, okay? Me, for example, I've dealt with men that have lots of money, who have their own businesses, men who travel the world, know a lot of people. And with that comes a lot of loneliness, because they're traveling all the time. So you never get to see them. They're working all the time. So you never get to see them. Maybe this person is married or has a family. So it's like, I can't be involved with somebody who's married and has a family, but you know, we can speak and say hi and hello to each other. You know what I'm saying? It's situations like that. And when we fall into that type of depression, when we can't have what we want, we generally throw ourselves into our work. And the good and the bad about this is that we're really, really good at what we do, but it drives us the fuck crazy. It drives us crazy. It's like, I'm, I, I want to bury myself into my work, which is what I do. I bury myself into my work. It takes my mind off of things, but it's driving me crazy because I really want to focus on what it is that I want. I want my relationship or I want my job or I want my person or I want my situation or whatever the fuck it is that you want. But it's like when you know you can't have it, instead of throwing a temper tantrum, we throw them tantrums in our head. You know what I'm saying? We're we're fucked up in our heads. And so we're thinking constantly all the time. Our minds, you know what I'm saying? Like a computer. We're just like an overdrive. So we have to put that energy somewhere. And so we generally put it into our work and we don't focus on anything else but our work. We are good in our lives. If we don't have relationships, we'll be fine. If we don't have, you know, friends, we're fine. As long as we have our fucking job, as long as we have our money, because friends come and go, but we don't, we don't really look at money as coming and going. We do, but it's just kind of like, listen, if I don't have shit, as long as I got my money and my job or whatever brings my income, whatever keeps me stable still, that's what I'll do. So I feel like to some degree, you want this family situation, but you don't have it. So it's like you're throwing yourself into your work and you're throwing yourself into your work, but it's like, like I really don't want to do this. I feel like also a baby. A baby. I think a baby is not in your mind, but it might be as well. So a lot of you might have said to yourself, you don't want any more kids. I know I say it all the time, but the contradiction to that and Aquarius, unfortunately, we are very much a very big contradiction. We really, really are. But I'm not going to get into that. But what I'm going to say is in regards to that, like what I'm going to say is like you see this little fish generally in tarot for me when I see fish like this and it reminds me of kids it reminds me of babies and so i've been telling myself that i don't want any more kids i have one daughter and i told myself i wasn't gonna have any more kids i watched a movie yesterday y'all it was actually really 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 good it was a movie with Whoopi goldberg and um I don't remember, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the, uh, I'm going to put that movie inside the, um, the description box. 
And I want you all to watch it. It's so good. It's really good. It made me cry and everything. I sat here on my couch. I had um, another one of these, an oatmeal cream pie. And I had my, um, my little gallon of tea, my half gallon of tea. And I watched that movie last night. And when I say I cried, I fucking cried, y'all. So I'm going to put that movie in the description box. And I want you to see it. But the purpose of me saying that was that to some degree, I've always told myself that I wanted a son. And after I had my daughter, I was really excited that I had my daughter. But it was like, to some degree, I, I wanted a son too. You know, I really wanted a son too. But yeah, internal conflict. I feel like you're having a lot of internal conflict with starting over. I feel like we want certain things. And because we don't have them, we want them more, but it's kind of like we always keep in the back of our heads that it's a chance that it won't come. So we try not to psych ourselves up too much. And I feel like that might be what you're doing. I feel like you're wanting to start over. You're wanting to start something new. You want to, you're wanting to just have that change in your life, but you're fighting yourself. Like you might be arguing with yourself, going back and forth with yourself, telling yourself, I should do this, I should do that. And I feel like your mind is just going in millions and millions and millions of ways. Like your mind is going a thousand, like your mind is just going. And I feel like you might feel stuck right now. You might not really know how to start something new. It's like you want to start something new, but maybe how to start new could be bothering you or not really knowing. I just feel like your mind is going crazy. Your mind is on overdrive. You're okay, but your mind, you are okay, but your mind is on overdrive. Yep, see, moving forward. I feel like you're moving to calmer waters. You're gonna slow your mind down. And with the Six of Swords, this is a card Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I feel like we got a lot of water here and we have fire, which is movement, starting something new. I feel like with this water here, you may have water highly aspected in your chart. And what's funny, I don't have cancer in my chart, but I do have Scorpio in my chart and I have Pisces in my chart. And when it comes to romance, love, and relationships, my Venus is in Pisces. So a hopeless romantic, somebody who loves very hard. But the contradiction to that is that I never find the relationship that I want or I never have my relationships the way I want them or to a, to a, in a way that they work for me. And again, I mean, by nature, but we can change these things. We have to find a way to get around these swords. We have to find a way to get out of our own mind. And I think you're going to do that going into hermit mode. Maybe you just really need to, some quiet time and allow yourself time to think, which is something that we do, yet contradictingly, we don't do. All right, Aquarius, if you don't, you better. And I'm going to put that movie in the description box, okay? So be looking out for that.